world of tanks vehicles come in all shapes and sizes. Some have excellent armor, some sport fast-firing guns, and some may take you out with just one shot. There are also vehicles able to decide a battle's outcome by sneaking up to their enemies, delivering devastating blows, and generally being where the team needs them most. Today's vehicle belongs to the latter type. The Kanonen Jagdpanzer 105 is a premium Tier 8 tank destroyer. Now we'll show you what this Predator is capable of and how you can tame it. Let's first see how it looks. Well, it's a classic. A machine gun sits atop a grey conning tower of a traditional TD with a menacing 105mm cannon and a low silhouette. Hmm, it sure looks familiar, but it can't be. That's too obvious. Of course, it's the RU-251. Our TD of the day not only looks like this light tank, but also moves like it. Really fast. A maximal speed of 70 km per hour, combined with excellent off-road performance and high-specific power, put this German into the top of its class at Tier 8. Only the Swedish UDES can possibly give it a run for its money in a race. Some can only dream of such velocity while running down a hill. The Kanonen's Hull Traverse is also an envy of many of its classmates. Running circles around this TD isn't easy. Going faster than the wind is nice, just do it under the right circumstances. Remember, with great speed comes great responsibility. Not holding your horses at the start of a battle and becoming the first to reach the front line may send you into the beast enclosure commonly known as the garage. Use your speed together with your smarts, for example, to take a good firing position between the first and the second attack lines at the beginning of a fight. Or to switch flanks rapidly in the middle of it. Just be careful. In our game, you have to pay for high mobility with protection, in most cases. The Kanonen Jagdpanzer 105 is no exception here. Forget about turning your hull, angling and such tactics, it won't help. Our TD has just 30mm at the front. Penetrating this isn't a big deal, even for an MS-1, and we've not even mentioned vehicles of Tier 8 and up. The sides are no better, the same 30mm at another angle. The rear is what you call cardboard, only 8mm. The Kanonen Jagdpanzer 105 doesn't have a treasure trove of hit points either. You have just 1,050 of these, and you shouldn't squander this pool. That's for the German's weak sides. Now onto what it's made for, hunting. The TD's small size allows it to stay invisible almost at a barrel's reach. But for the mandatory decloaking at 50 meters, the enemies would stumble over it. You may become 100% more stealthy by applying vehicle camo, giving your crew the brothers in arms perk and maxing out the concealment skill. Now even the most far-sighted World of Tanks inhabitants are confused. Not even the Sheridan can spot this TD from more than 222 meters. Well, there's a nuance to this. The Kanonen Jagdpanzer 105 is a bit myopic. Only 360 meters spotting distance makes you dependent on your team. Without your partners, you're almost as blind as a newborn kitten. To avoid this, destroy your enemies in due time. The excellent 105mm gun should help. The penetration with a basic round is 268mm and the Alpha is 390. To crack tougher armor, use the German's heat shells. They penetrate 330mm and really do pump up the damage you deal. The basic round is a fast-flying APCR shell. Brisk foes are easy to target with these at range, as the accuracy is 0.32, and the aiming time is just 1.8 seconds. By the way, these stats are among the best for this tier. Don't let the almost 12-second reloading time discourage you. You can always make it go faster with a gun rammer, improved vents, and the Brothers in Arms perk, and the tasty Schokoladen. Uh, we mean chocolate. If the battlefield quiets down, don't hesitate to fire at popular enemy positions. You have 51 shells, which is enough for two battles. As for the firing positions, you have lots of options. The depression of your gun is minus 8 degrees. 
and you may raise it up to 15 degrees. It also moves up to 15 degrees to each side. With these stats and your small and low frame, you're good to park where you want, on any map. So the optimal config for our German friend includes mounting a gun rammer, improved vents and equipment of your choice. An enhanced gun laying drive, coated optics or for the most sneaky, a camouflage net. The crew should get concealment and brothers in arms. Don't forget about that six cents perk for the commander. When going hunting, take first aid and repair kits and chocolate. You also might want to take a couple of friends with you. Well, time to sum up. At the start of a battle, choose an attack direction, rush to a good position and begin to dish out damage. Your priority targets are light and medium tanks. Thanks to APCR and a precise gun, you won't have problems hitting them. As soon as the heavies come closer, the hunter should switch to bigger game. Move in accordance with the team, staying between the first and second lines of attack. Be sure to constantly monitor the tactical situation. Playing the Kanonen Jagdpanzer 105, you stay in the thick of it while remaining invisible. This way you're guaranteed to experience unforgettable emotions and fully implement this TD's farming potential. This German can be a terrific hunter and now you know how to handle the Kanonen Jagdpanzer 105.